Welcome back to Southern V Immigration News. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel. As part of our US Immigration Learning Series, today we will talk about a term called Visa Retrogression for United States Immigration Process. When you are in the process of getting United States Permanent Resident Card or Green Card, your priority date is very important data point, which helps to assess your position in the Green Card Processing Queue. Visa Retrogression is the process of moving the priority date backwards. In this video, we will know what defines visa retrogression, why it is important, and what is the significance of this in your U.S. immigration journey. Let's get into the video. Every month, the U.S. Department of State releases a publication visa bulletin to show the position of your priority date in that month. When your priority date becomes current, you can either apply for adjustment of status if you are already in the United States, with legal status or you can choose the path of consular processing to apply for an immigration visa at an u.s embassy or consulate in your home country but sometimes a situation occurs when there are more visa applicants for a certain immigration visa category or countries than there are available visas for that month in such situations department of state moves the current month immigrant visa or green card processing dates backwards this process is called a visa retrogression now let's understand how does it impact your green card or immigrant visa processing as visa retrogression indicates that the priority dates will move backwards that means you will not be able to proceed to next step such as filing from I-485 or adjustment of status of your green card processing. But what if you have already submitted your adjustment of status or from I-485 petition and visa retrogression is issued? Retrogressed visas will not be processed by officials at U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services USCIS, until the priority date for the applicant becomes current. This can end up meaning that a visa application is held in abeyance, as USCIS explains, until there are visa available again. During this abeyance, the visa application will be held at a USCIS location with a specific location depending on the type of visa being requested. Commonly, the possibility can be 1. The USCIS center where the original application was filed will continue to hold that application if no interview will be needed to process the case number. 2. The TESAC Service Center will hold employment-based visas when the required interview has been completed. 3. The National Benefit Center will hold family-sponsored visas when the required interview has been completed. You must have known by now that it is important to monitor the monthly visa bulletin to find out if your visa application may be subject to retrogression. You can also find the latest visa bulletin, information from United States Department of State's website, as given in description below. When visa retrogression comes into play, USCIS may require applicants to provide updated application materials when their priority dates finally become current. Therefore, it is advised that applicants keep their current address with the USCIS. While applicants wait for their priority dates to become current, they can apply for employment authorization to obtain permission to work in the US or a permission to travel outside of the United States. Please share this information with family and friends who may need it. You can also help us spread the message by sharing it on all social media. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell for more immigration updates. Bye!